Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make this very easy, beginner friendly ear warmer or headband. We do have a free written pattern available if you want to have access to that. You're going to have access to your size, a smaller size and a larger size if you may. We also do have a printable PDF which comprises of this ear warmer and a beanie so be sure to check that out. Before we go any further, the materials that you need to achieve this ear warmer are your 4.5mm hook, your yarn that's required for the 4.5mm hook, scissors and a darning needle. Before we go any further, again, be sure to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and comment. Tell us what colour you made this into. So let's get right into it. To begin, we are going to make a slip knot. Just like that. And then we're going to do a chain up of 65. So you're going to go on doing your chain of 65. I'm going to continue working mine off camera. Now that you have your chain of 65, this is what your long chain should be looking like. You're going to block off that last chain at the end and do another chain up of one. And then into the second hook from the chain from the hook, you're going to go in there with a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through three. And that is what you're going to do, going down, going all the way down. Being sure you don't skip any stitches. And you're gonna notice that we don't make it a whole one loop because we do want it to be, uh, we want the fancy folded situation at the front. So we're gonna do that together at the end. So you're just gonna continue doing your uh, half double crochets going all the way down and I'll meet you once I get to the last part. So I've got a few more half double crochets that I have to work up and I've decided we'll just finish those up together. And into the last one just like that. And this is what your work should be looking like. To begin row two, you're gonna do a chain up of one and turn your work. Now to get the rib loop, we're gonna be working into the back loops only. So into the first stitch right there, go into the back loop with a slip stitch. And you're gonna slip stitch all the way along. Just like that. And behind we should be forming this ribbed rib look. So you're going to continue doing that. So I've got a few more stitches to work my slip stitches into. And we'll just finish those together. And into the last one just like that. And we'll do a chain up of one and ten. And if you look at it like this, you're gonna notice that we are starting to form the ribbon, the ridges of the ribbon. And then row three will be just like row one. Half double slip stitches. Just like that. Into the back loops only. So you want to continue doing this all the way to the end of the row and I'll meet you once we're about to finish off the row so we can just remind each other of how we do the next row. So I've got a few more stitches left and I might as well finish those off together. And that's the last one, chain one. And turn and go in with a row of slip stitches. So obviously this side is the wrong side and this side with the ribbon is the right side. And all we're gonna do is um switch between 
half double crochet, slip stitches, half double crochets and slip stitches. So you're going to do this for as long as you want but then you want to make sure that you're ending on a half double crochet row just as we started. I'm going to do a total of 11 rows so the 11th row is going to be this row of half double slip stitches. So you go on doing that for however many rows you desire and I'll meet you once I'm done with my 11 rows. So once you're done with your 11 rows, this is what your work should look like. You want to leave a very long tail, not very very long, but something quite measurable at the end. And you want to do a chain up of one. Pull the yarn through, tug it there. And then you want to grab your yarn needle, like I have here. Pull it through like that. And now, this is where the fancy part comes in. Your work will be facing the right side, like it is right here. So what you're going to do, you want to pay attention to this part. You want to fold it in half, just like that. As you can see. And now, uh, this is what the work looks like up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it halfway like this. So that the half of this edge right here is halfway through this part of the, uh, of the headband just like that just like that and then you want to fold this side over this side so it kind of sandwiches the half of that and then you want to fold this side in like that let's do that again bring this halfway close it in like that and close this side like this as well so that your work folds in just like that so you want to grab your needle and beginning from this side, making sure you're going through all of the um, folded areas, you're just going to go in with your yarn needle and sew it closed. Making sure you're grabbing all the stitches as you go. And finally, so I'm just going to hold that out, enter it through the middle so that it makes a knot. I will do that again. Leaving a knot like that, entering this through the center and pulling it just like that. And then you grab your scissors. that off and then we'll turn our work try and flatten this out a bit you turn your work inside out and would you look at that there's your headband right there all done just like that if you want it to be a bit bigger you can make it bigger so on the inside you might want to just you know cut off the excess ends Cut them off and you know, weave them through if you wish <laughs> so it can look nice and neat. And this is a very fast project, honestly. If you're a fast crochet, I can have one done within like 40 minutes, even 30 minutes. And you can make several just like that. Thinking of making this in other colors, I most definitely will. And this will keep your ears warm and hold your hair into place. I hope you liked this tutorial, guys. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe.